We are back in Way of the Hunter on Nez Perce Valley. I am OCG. Today we're doing a realistic hunt for some mule deer and some whitetail with the new bows. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I've got some mulers here in front of me. Not too bad ones either. And I do believe I've got some whitetail coming in behind me somewhere. My problem is my wind is not the greatest. It's going that direction. So the whitetail are probably going to get wind of me and not come in. So I doubt I'll see them. But we do have some mulers right here that I'm checking out. And I think there might be one shooter in here. I think he's somewhere in the bushes right now. And obviously, we are using the new bows as well as the new crossbow. And the new crossbow sight, which is interesting. But I'm going to try to use uh, this bad boy. If I can. Not quite sure how that's... Go oh my goodness, that's going to be terrible. Yeah, um, I'm going to miss this so hard. You guys are going to have a good time laughing at me for this. <laughs> anyway... I did bring the deer grind collar, so let's go ahead and give a high fitness call here. See if we've got anything crazy in terms of mule deer. I know there was one potential shooter. And it looks like he's a high fitness. And I think he might be, it's hard to tell, but I think he might be a non-typical. Uh, no, he's not a non-typical. I'm going to miss this shot so bad. I need to get this guy so close. I've had no practice with this thing, so I'm not even sure what I'm aiming at. Are you stuck? Are you are you stuck, buddy? Why you why you no come in? <laughs> What's this guy doing? There's no way I'm taking that shot. I'd miss that so hard. He's not going to be anything special. I know that for a fact because he's lopsided, but he is going to be worth taking out because he's lopsided and he's high fitness. So it's going to help the herd a little bit. Not in terms of size, but in, in terms of getting rid of the, the lopsidedness. Now, I did see that they added in melanistic wolves. So, we're probably going to be doing a pretty long wolf hunt here in the coming future. Probably probably this coming week. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we can get ourselves a melanistic, but I don't know how that's going to work because I don't know if it replaces the current wolves and just randomly picks one to spawn a melanistic, or do I have to go kill a bunch of wolves before we get a melanistic? I don't know how that works. But, obviously we're not here for wolves right now. We're here for mule deer and whitetail. I'd like to get a couple of both today. I might not get anything, though, if we keep using this bow. Because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hit anything at all. I don't know where this guy's at. He's stuck, I think. He's literally just chilling down there. Chillin' like a villain. He really might be stuck. If that's the case, I'm gonna probably have to use the crossbow, because there's no way I'm taking this shot from this far from a bow that I don't even know how to aim yet. <laughs> Tap dancing. I don't even know if the crossbow could do it. He's probably at 50 yards. Come on, buddy. Don't be doing this to me. Can you really not cross that right now? Ah, <sighs> fine. He's at 50 yards. I need to aim all right about there. And that wind took that so far. <laughs> we used at least one of the new bows. I guess I just got enough of the lung there to get him get him down. 
yeah, nothing special there. 69%. Obviously, because he is insanely lopsided. Now, if this side copied over to this side with this one copied to here, maybe pushed into a four. But definitely not a five. Just a sell. See if I can get these white tail. I said we were going for white tail. There's actually some Mueller's are like right here somewhere. I can't quite find them just yet. They're definitely close. Probably on the other side of this hill, more than likely. I'm going to move up just a smidge, probably get in one of these bushes and see if we can call them in. Uh, my wind's kind of in my favor at this point if they're over there. Uh, but there are some white till more than likely down that way. And the reason I say more than likely is because the other zone is over here. And I didn't see them there. So, that means they're over there somewhere. But, since I've got these Mueller's here, I might as well check them out. I did want to remind you guys that every Sunday we do do a live stream for Way of the Hunter here on YouTube at 6pm Central Time. That includes tomorrow. If you guys want to swing by and check that out, tomorrow's video, or tomorrow's live stream I should say, is a lion hunt on Tickamoon Plains. That's what you guys voted for. And yes, you guys get to pick what we hunt every Sunday. Hopefully you guys swing by there and we can have some fun. Maybe get ourselves our first ever five-star lion. That'd be nuts. You're one. Oh, I'd see it yet. Oh, we've got a big giant non-typical. Absolutely giant non-typical. Please do not mess this up. <laughs> Because we're going to be using a bow I have never used before. And I want this guy as close as possible before we take this shot. I mean, he needs to be really, really close. He's definitely going down if I can get the shot off on him. I thought there were a couple of them, but it looks like it's just going to be this guy. Pretty sure, at least. Don't go behind the tree. Really gonna make me do one more call? There's no way you see me right now. There's just no way. This is perfect right here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stand still. One more time. Is that a kill shot? Is that a kill shot? Ah. Flush wound. Shoot. I don't know what I hit. I don't know if I was high or if I was low or what there. I don't think he's going to make it too far in terms of spook distance. As it was with a bow. It shouldn't be crazy spook range. But he does have an arrow in him, so then again, he could be running for a while. Only problem is I just don't know exactly where he's run off to, so I guess I'm going to go try to track him down. If we don't find him, we will move on. Okay, so I either have him hooked again, or this is a different one. I'm not quite sure where I heard it from, but as soon as I gave a call that right before this one, he answered. It was somewhere over this general direction. Just, I, I haven't seen him yet. And I don't want to move too much because my wind is going to be an issue if I go too much that direction. Okay, so I lied about where he was at. <laughs> He's right there. That's definitely him. I thought he was over this way, but I guess he was more in this direction. Hopefully we can get him this time and not mess up so bad on the shot. I just don't know if I was high or if I was low on that one. So I really, I really don't know, but two shots of an arrow, even if there were flesh wounds... Should do the job. Super close. Super close. 
Should not have to give a call again. I just don't know if I was high or if I was low. I'm assuming where that little black marker is to my right is where I should be aiming. You really need one more call? Yes, so. Okay. Right here, buddy. Right here. Please don't miss this one. Oh, he's dead this time. You are dead this time, buddy. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a five, but most non-typicals I have seen so far... Oh, wait, is he not non-typical? Or maybe I just can't see them. I thought he was non-typical. Yeah, he's not typical. Uh, most of them have been fours or fives, so I spined him on the first one. I was just really high. The second one was a little bit of a shot. Went into the liver, though. The left lung was really what did it there. Wasted him. Oh, because I hit him in the spine. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't have made it anyway. Luckily, uh, he was non-typical, but only partially. That is a crazy rack, actually. You know what? I'm taxidermying you because I don't think I have one that's partially non-typical. Yeah. You are being a tax... I can't because he's wasted. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Why did I have to hit the spine? Why did I have to hit the spine? <sighs> Just to sell. Well, there's the white tail that I said we're going to be here, but there is not a single thing we're taking. They are all not old. So... Uh, we're just going to move on, I guess. Well, got some nearby. Not quite sure what we have, but definitely got some nearby. The wind is good. I just need to get down there and see what we have. There doesn't look to be anything insanely old, but I could just not be able to see them. I saw something that was old. I don't know if it was a male or a female. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and give a high fitness call here and see if we can at least get maybe an old high fitness. If it's a small high fitness and it's not old, obviously we're not going to bother. I did hear some mule deer over that way as well. So I want to make sure I'm in range of both of these guys before I give a call. I'm definitely in range of the white tail. And the mule deer sounded pretty close as well. Just need to make sure I've got a good bit of cover. I'm gonna get to this tree right here. That should be should be good. Guess I can go ahead and start calling though. See if we get any responses. Mm, nothing yet. That's never good. But I know I saw something old in there other than that female, I do believe. Might be an old male. It had just been the female. They were turned away from me and hid in a bush, so I couldn't quite tell. I'm going to give a couple calls here for high fitness. Nothing shows up. We're going to swap over to low fitness and take out a low fitness. Clean up that herd a little bit. At least we have the mule deer coming in. I don't think we have any high fitness... Uh, white tail though. Which kind of sucks because obviously I was trying to get white tail and mule deer today. But so far it's just been all mule deer. But that's just how it goes sometimes. We'll see what shows up from this mule deer, but if it's not worth taking, we'll call it a low fitness. Oh now I'm very tempted. I am so tempted right now. Where? Where? Well let me see. I want to see if you have any melanistic wolves. I don't know if I'll be able to get to them and take them out. But I'm going to be keeping an eye out for these guys. See if I can see them. Is that a melanistic wolf? That is a melanistic wolf. I'm getting this mule deer. And I'm going to get that melanistic wolf. With 
a bow. With a bow. Boys, with a bow. He's right there. Oh, baby, I want to see you so bad. Come on, pop your head around. Oh, there he is. Oh, what a beauty. Oh. Okay. Taking this, this, uh, this mill deer down. He's nothing special. Sounds like there's possibly another one. Probably gonna have to change the time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to these guys because my wind is absolutely atrocious. And we'll come back, take out that melanistic wolf, and be super happy about it because, wow. I'm not in a really good spot to be honest, but it's fine. He gets close enough, I'll take him out. I really, really want to take that wolf with the bow. With the new bow. Not the crossbow. With this bow. I just I haven't figured out the aim on this yet, so I really need to get this nailed right here before we go after those guys, because uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hit that wolf. Oh yeah, they definitely got wind of me. I'm going to probably move over that way. I do have a caller with me too, so we could try to call them in. Obviously, wolves, you can't really get very close with a call in. You kind of have to pick a spot and hope that they come into you, but this is not going to be... This is not going to work on this case. Right there, heart shot. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did we get it? Did I get it in the right spot? I think they're too far away from them to even know what just happened. Yeah. So, I don't care if these guys spook as long as they don't spook into the wolf. Uh, we're going to grab this guy real quick, like, make sure it was where I wanted to hit it. Yep. We were pretty close there. It was a hard shot. Uh, this guy's nothing special. Probably a two. Yeah. Just a sell there. Okay, I said we were going to go for that wolf, but I think we're going to wait, considering we are going to do a wolf hunt probably this week. So, I think we're going to just wait for that, and we will come get this guy for sure. But, I think that is going to be it for this episode. I know we got three mule deer and zero whitetail, which we were mainly focused on whitetail. But, you know, that's how it goes. Nothing really to kill on whitetail. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this one, check out these videos right here. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. And as always, have a fantastic day. OCG out.